seriously, the title Science is Stupid is probably not a good title because if I were to take the average beliefs of people and compare them to the average beliefs of the science community, I think the average beliefs of the science community would a lot more closely resemble reality, right? So in this video, we're going to be debunking this study um, that baby-like features are what make someone more physically attractive. Now again, like I say, if you go out and ask the average person what qualities make someone physically attractive, you're probably going to get an answer that's even wackier. It's going to be like having Donald Duck-like features. Did you know that what makes someone physically attractive is having baby-like features? If you've ever heard this song by Justin Bieber, it goes, baby, baby, baby. Now that's not a coincidence. There's some subliminal marketing going on here. I'm going to be betting that I will successfully convince you that it's a bad study by the end of this video. And I want you to tell me in the comment section whether I succeeded. And your answer is probably going to be biased because this is my channel. But send it to some random people or something. Try to get the general public. The study says that when they compare what makes a, a face more attractive, making a face more baby-like makes it more attractive because people like features like big forehead, big eyes, and things like this. This is what makes a person more attractive. And if you watch anime, that's true to an extent, but there's a very gross error in the study in which they are only looking at some baby-like features. Right? They're missing a good 50% or more of them. So, for example, take being toothless. Babies do not have teeth. I don't think most people find toothlessness to be physically attractive, uh, being bald, okay? Babies are bald. I, I think mo maybe women like bald men more, but in general, guys don't like bald women as much as women with hair on their heads, right? Um, having a completely flat nose bridge, I think that's a feature most people do not find attractive. Right? If you go around and ask people what is their ideal age of attractiveness, they're probably going to say around 18. So, I think it's pretty reasonable to extrapolate that the more 18-like your physical features are, the more attractive you'll be. If ideal, 100% attractiveness, is someone who's 18, then it logically follows that the closer you look to 18, the more 18-like features you have, the more attractive you're going to be.